Now it's time for the 37th and final race of this season of the Road Tax Max Challenge Euro Trophy here in 2023. It's DD2 and DD2 Masters closing out the show as we have done since April and 2018. Let's take you through your starting grid for the final time. David Outlaishner will have Martin Van Leeuwen alongside him. If Van Leeuwen stays exactly where he is, he becomes the new champion. Outlaishner and Enzo Boll, based on my calculations, they are second and third respectively. They are second and third respectively. They're battling for the other ticket for the grand finals this year. Nicola Picot is leading the way in DD2 Masters based on drop score by just seven points. He starts fourth. Tristan Rennie and Lucas Pernod, they are on row three. Maxim Didik starts seventh ahead of Bradley Barrett. Matthias Lund and Dennis Tulm ran at the top ten. Martina Stankovicius, Nicola Guillaume, Ilias Kaliakmanis, Victor Frost Bay, and Jakob Bezel and Ed Matthews are on the grid, bringing up the rear of the 16 strong field. So the drivers now going on to their formation lap ahead of their final race. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is the final race under the stewardship of Camp Company Gimbihar for the Euro Trophy. And it has been an absolute pleasure for us all over the last six seasons. So 14 minutes plus an additional lap here at Paul Fletcher International will decide our final two titles. And what's more, it will decide the final three tickets for this year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. They will take place in 84 days time amidst the sands of the Persian Gulf at the Bahrain International Karting Circuit in December. And with the sunshine trying to break through the gray clouds above, just off of the Litchfield Bridge, we are ready to go racing one final time. And there is, I think, uh, well, that's one of the, <laughs> that's Bradley Barrett. I think he just uh, tried to get into formation there. He will start on the outside of row number four. The red lights ignite on the starting gantry for the 37th and final time this weekend as we go revs up. Let's race one final time as the lights go out and Outlationer leads the field going into the Bruno Ferrari S's on the opening part of this 14 minute plus an additional lap race. Second looks to be Van Leeuwen. Third is Enzo Boll as they are making their way up the hill over the Litchfield Bridge on the opening time. Through turn four, down the dip, accelerate. Oh, Enzo Boll just had a bit of a moment there. He's now down to third. And Nicola Picot is now starting to get himself a bit closer to the top two. And he's looking towards the outside of Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands. Goes very, very wide. Punches the throttle and straight away to the left-hand side. Picot gets through on Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands. And that is for second overall. Now, I can't remember in the Euro Trophy whether we've had a race... Well, we haven't had a race winner in DD2 and DD2 Masters when you put them together. We might have one here if Nicolas Picot has anything to say anything about it. Oh, careful there between Outlation and Van Leeuwen. They're battling over the lead for DD2. But Nicolas Picot, after lap number one, is leading the race. And he's, he's a country mile ahead of the other two competitors. And, oh, dearie me, Bradley Barrett has just been given the black flag by Race Direction. Black flag for Bradley Barrett. And he will have to park it within the next three laps. But Nicolas Picot leading the way by nearly four and a half tenths of a second. Down the hill they go. Tristan Rennie now starts to close on in. And Enzo Boll, oh, Enzo Boll is not having the best luck at the minute. The reason being, he is now down 
in what will become seventh position. Make that sixth in DD2 because of Bradley Barrett getting the black flag. Well, Martinus Tankiewicz, if anyone might remember, Vakersdorf, DD2 Masters, heat number two last year. All three wide going into Bobby Game Corner. Careful, careful. Martin Van Leeuwen around the outside of Tristan Rennie coming out of Bobby Game Corner, lit up the rear tyres, got the traction. Rennie went, no you don't. Outlishner says, yes, here I go as well. They're in second, third and fourth overall. Pico is uh, now going to start romping it. Well, he's going to try and see if he can get away to the distance. So Bradley Barrett will now see the black flag and he will have to park it next time around or within three laps will get excluded from this session. So Picot leads by just under seven tenths of a second. And now we've got a battle for second position. And now that is David Outlaishner, I think I've just spotted, that's just dropped from second to fourth. But from DD2 race lead, class lead, he now drops to third. Well, that is going to be interesting for Enzo Boll. Now, looking at it from this perspective, Nicola Picot and then, ah, right. Now, in the greater scheme of things, Dennis Toom has just gone into, into, into seventh place. So two DD2 Masters carts in front of Enzo Boll puts him sixth. And that is 47 points. This could make things a little bit interesting now, folks, because puts him on 93 total drop scores. David Outlaishner at the moment will be running in P3 in DD2. Well, it just depends on what happens behind Nikola Picot. Well, actually, at the minute, well, Tristan Rennie's got the race lead. Nikola Picot is second. Outlaishner and Van Leeuwen. Ah, right. And that means you know, Outlaishner has got 52 points. And he's only six away. Yellow. Oh. Right, three wheels on the wagon off of the Bruno Ferrari S's. The first one happened with Archie Walker in seniors. And that is, oh, it is Enzo Ball. Enzo Ball, and that's taken part of the stub axle with it. That means Enzo Ball being a non-finisher, that has taken away his ticket to the grand finals. Oh, heartache for the young Dutchman. Heartache for Enzo Boll after such a great bit of work. He was six points ahead of David Outlaishner. And now Outlaishner does not need to battle Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen is on the verge of becoming a new champion. And by my recollection, looking through the roll of honour here for the Euro Trophy, the last champion was Dennis Thum, Germany. The previous, well, no, that's, uh, that's DD2 Masters. My apologies there. Kimba, UK, last year. 2021, Pedebezel, Czech Republic. 2020, Zander Schriblak, Belgium. Jakob Bezel in, tw well, it was Pedebezel in 2021. Jakob Bezel in 2019. And in 2018, Martin Henkel Mortensen. Did a number of everybody and even wrapped up the title before we got to the season finale at Wackersdorf. So that basically makes it Denmark, Czech Republic, Belgium, Czech Republic again, UK, five different nations will have had a title one out of six because now Van Leeuwen is going to put it, well, Van Leeuwen, he's done enough. Van Leeuwen just needs to bring it home. Outlaishner also just needs to bring it home in order for him to be at the end of it all, all said and done. That's it, job done, I've got my ticket. So with seven minutes and 30 seconds to go on the timer. Tristan Rennie is leading the way. Nicolas Picot could be the second Frenchman in six years. Following on from Paul Louveau, as was that, a, that was a little bit of a moment there for Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands. Careful, Martin, keep it on the track.
halfway through the race. And at the moment, well, Enzo Boll, I could see the body language from him. That's a real shame for the 15-year-old from the Netherlands. One of the new young breed drop, jumping from junior to, to DD2. He's starting to move away from seniors or not going in through to seniors. Hang on a minute. I'm seeing something here that I never thought I'd be saying. Now, it might be the case, I might be corrected, but this is just a provisional thought. Even with six minutes on the clock, if Enzo Boll finishes in 13th position, he's taken the start. You know what? If he if he has yeah, Tristan Rennie scored points in the heat. So you know what? I don't think Enzo Boll might be at a loose end anymore. The reason being, but there there is one caveat here. There is one big caveat. That if Lucas Perno, oh hang on a second, things might be changing again because now David Outlaysner is ahead of Martin Van Loyen from the Netherlands. Okay, Van Loyen's pretty much got the title in the bag. Let's be honest about that. But it still could be one point. If Lucas Pernod manages to get past Outlaysner at some point, if Outlaysner falls foul of Van Leeuwen, but Van Leeuwen is 1.1 seconds up the road, Pernod is 1.1 seconds behind Van Leeuwen. As careful, careful, Jakob Bezel. Matthias Lund was right up the inside of him, I think, in, and just got through. Well, there's Pernod, and he's right, he's... <laughs> Well, Tristan Rennie has put in the fastest lap of the race. I'm not at all surprised mastering these wet weather conditions at the moment. And he's done a 1 minute 17.114. So Tristan Rennie on course to take a win on UK soil in the gearbox category for the first time in a very, very long time here at, on UK soil. For those wondering, DD2 and DD2 Masters do not run in the United Kingdom. We normally have like uh, senior Rotax. 162 in Rotax 177, which then means that those drivers will go into DD2 or DD2 Masters at the Grand Finals if they qualify through the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. And now David Altleishner has got himself in front of Nicolas Picot. Picot at the moment, it's 529 for Picot. Tum, 522. Tankiewicz. 521, according to my, the drop scores that I've calculated. We still have three and a half minutes to go. Now the rain has subsided once again. Still surface water on the track here at Paul Fletcher International. We are at the final throws of what has been an intense season. We started back on the 14th of April at the home of Karting Genk. The home of champions Karting Genk in Belgium on the 14th of April. And now just 84 days away from the 2023 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. And I'm looking, for, because if people are wondering, am I going to be there in Bahrain? Yes, I will. I will see everyone that has qualified through the B&L Karting Series, through the Euro Trophy, through Nordic, through Latvia, li through Lithuania. The list goes on and on. As we come to the final moments of this race weekend here on the Alton Track Action. And Martin Van Leeuwen is now down. Folks, get this. He's down into fourth. That's not really gonna make an indent on his championship lead, is it? Not much. Actually, that's going to better his score, to be honest with you. If he finishes fourth, it will be his uh, lowest score of the season. He's had a 52, a 49 this weekend, 
that puts it on 101 point. points. And Ed Matthews has pulled the cart into pit lane as we're into the final two minutes plus one additional lap. Tristan Rennie makes his way through into the second of the infield hairpins here at Paul Fletcher International. Martinas Tankevicius is trying to close, well, he's fast running out of time, is the man from Vilnius. And he's just put in a personal best lap of 1 minute 17.961, but then his tool in the wet is, is a significant amount quicker. 1 minute 17.266. Now we're into the final, 55 seconds, plus an additional lap of the race meeting and also of the 2023 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy season here at Paul Fletcher International. As there is the 405 and Maxim Didix from Belgium coming across the line. So we're now on to what is gonna be our penultimate lap of the racing season. Now it comes to the final moments of when the last set of double wave checkers from our flag marshal Ryan, who's been absolutely brilliant on the gantry this weekend. Thank you to him for bringing out the special Party piece here at, Trent, at the at the Paul Fletcher International Circuit. Timer has expired for the last time here on Sunday, the 10th of September. Last light board being shown to Tristan Rennie, who makes his way through the Bruno Ferrari S's for the final time. Up Uncle Tyrone's banking. Now onto the Litchfield Bridge for what will be the 12th. And final time, Dennis Tum in the meantime. Oh, he's caught Nicola Picot. We could have a development on our hands. Dennis Tum, I'm, I hate to think it could be very, very strange what happens right now. It could be, get this, folks. Picot could win. Well, Dennis Tum, he's got to try and get past. If he gets past Picot, he's done the double. He'll become the first ever two time Euro Trophy DD2 Masters champion. Can Dennis Toom do the unthinkable? Can he again qualify for Team Germany? He's side by side through the second hairpin. Dennis Toom trying to get the crisscross. Dennis Toom trying to get the crisscross on the run to the Fullerton S's. In the meantime, Tristan Rennie, and there they are. There they are, they're squabbling. But out of the final corner very shortly as he's sideways into the Mike Wilson complex, it's Tristan Rennie. Tristan Rennie is going to win on home soil here for Kraft Motorsport. Killian and the team will be delighted. He celebrates and punches the air. Tristan Rennie wins in DD2. Second is going to be David Outlaishner. Third, Lucas Bernard. Felicitations, Monsieur Canada. And out of the final corner, it's going to be the run to the line. Dennis Tom knows it. Pico wins. Pico becomes champion in DD2 Masters right to the end of the line. Dennis Tom. Punching the steering wheel in complete frustration. And Pico it, it repeats the feat of another Frenchman. Such a character that was with us back in 2021. Paul Louveau. But now it's time for the final double wave checkers. The TV, the Trent Valley Cart Club specials, Ryan. Thank you very much for bringing that party piece out for our finals this weekend. Tristan Rennie takes the final race victory of the season ahead of David Outlaishner, who by my calculations, by a single solitary point, books his place with Team Poland in Bahrain. David, well done. I'm sure the likes of uh, my good friends at uh, Bartosz at Karting Rapport and everybody else 
even Slava Mimaransky and the guys at Wierzchowski Motorsport who know David so well, along with the rest of the family in Poland and in Wales. Lucas Perno signs off. He's going to be there for Team Canada in Bahrain, but he rounds off the season with a third place finish. Pico by 0 0.430 seconds and one point secure, pretty much provisionally secures this year's DD2 Masters crown ahead of Denis Tour. Martinez Tankiewicz. Well, you know what? Martinez has been in the top three. He's been a shining beacon of DD2 Masters racing in the last two years that he's competed in the Euro Trophy. Thank you very much to, uh, to Martinez. Jakub Bezel finishes seventh at a Victor Frost Bay. Martin Van Leeuwen, Maxim Dirix rounds out the overall top 10. Matthias Lund, Nicolas Guillaume, and Ilias Kaliakmanis round out the top 13. Ed Matthews finishes after seven laps in 14th. Enzo Boll with three wheels on the wagon. He's probably going to get third in the championship. He retires on lap three. And Bradley Barrett being provided with the, red, the black flag on the final, on the last, or the opening lap of the race.